15. But before we start, guys, let's get a picture with the train in the background. Come on. Oh, well, I can. I got selfie steam issues. <laughs> selfie steam. The gags like that I ain't surprised. Come on. What you like? Come on. This is Bronte Country. Oh, I can feel my heights wuthering just looking at it. But apart from its literary connection, it's also home to... Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, where we are joining operations manager Noel to be trained. So, Noel, what are we doing here, then? So, we're going to oil all the points down the loco. You have to make sure there's plenty of lubrication. So, you give that a little wipe so it's nice and tidy. And this makes it run nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, yeah. That's we want we it want. smooth. Can we do the big end? That's the big end. Yeah. There's one a big end. There's part <laughs> right there. <laughs> right. How do you think we did, now? Seven out of ten, maybe. How do we get ten? Well, I think if you could put the corks in a bit neater, that would be oh, better. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> that was your fault. You didn't clean it well enough. No, I would have cleaned it better if you'd have stuck the cork in better, I would. You don't clean it properly, then how can I do my job? No, who was better, me or Alison? Oh, I can... Well... I really have to put a lot of work into this. <laughs> I can stay in my claw. <laughs> Look, Al, let's not get all steamed up as I get my big end onto the footplate, because... <laughs> that's what this 1930s black five locomotive is for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're picking up some speed now. How many miles an hour are we going? Twelve. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before Josie's head explodes from the speed, <laughs> let's reverse back to couple with our carriages. Slow down a little bit. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> So, Noel, tell me a bit about Keithley and Worth Valley Railway Line. The railway's been here since the 1800s. It was opened uh, to serve the mills in the local area. Then it served the passengers of the local area. But then, in the 1960s, people decided they didn't want to travel by train anymore. The car was sexier. Freight was better going by road. Unfortunately, it did close then. But then a group of enthusiastic volunteers decided that they wanted to save it. And since then, it's kind of grown into this great tourist attraction. And there is one film in particular that put this heritage line on the map. Here's a clue. Ring any bells? <coughs> you were on the right track if you were thinking of the classic The Railway Children, filmed here in 1969. And talking of classics... Come on, baby, do the locomotion. Keeping the boiler at temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees is the responsibility of the fireman. Oh, no, no. In this case, Ollie, just one of the hundreds of volunteers who keep this amazing line going. Do you volunteer so you get to play with the world's biggest model railway? <laughs> well, I actually work on the railways as well as, as a signalman as my full-time job. So I get to work on the railways there and then come here and play with steam trains. It's great. Something well, tells me you like trains. Just a little bit. <laughs> Now it's my turn. OK, guys, let's do this. One team, one dream. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So how much coal am I going to have to shovel? Probably a couple of tonnes today. A couple of tonnes? <laughs> I'll, I'll help, I'll help. Good on you, Joe. Thank Go you. On. Well done, darling. Look at all that steam I'm making. Hey, I help. Thank you. Our next stop is Oakworth Station, also a star of the movies. And it's easy to see why. It's perfectly preserved, as is its station master, David. Hello, David. Hi, Hi there. Come on, we've got to get these gates open. Oh, yeah. It's also where the train has to cross the road. The problem is, you're at the wrong side of the gate. Am I? Oh, my oh, goodness. Which oh. needs to be done quickly. With the pressure on... You don't worry, it's idiot-proof of this thing. And then pull that lever there. It became obvious. No one had warned oh, David no. about working with us. I thought you'd done. That's it, you've done it. The signal is now off. The engine can go. Sorry we kept you waiting. At least I can say I pulled. And with that terrible gag... Thanks, David! 
come she can get away with them? We are off. And even as we are making ourselves at home... We have news of an important arrival. Not us, obviously. So what exciting plans have you got for 2023? One of the major things that we're looking forward to is Flying Scotsman coming along. Simply because it's probably, I suppose, the best known engine in the world. Loads of options for people to travel behind it and come and photograph it and just enjoy the fact that it's actually 100 years old this year. And even as steam enthusiasts digest that exciting news, it's time for a bacon sarnie cooked a la shovel. Hey, good news, Josie. No said we can go around again. Amazing! Huh? Full steam ahead! That way! <laughs> <laughs>